हेलो स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू ऑल आई होप यू ऑल आर फाइन ओके सो टूडे वी विल स्टार्ट अ न्यू चैप्टर दैट इज टेबल्स एंड शेयर्स दिस चैप्टर इज मोस्टली बेस्ड ऑन मल्टीप्लीकेशन एंड डिविजन एंड द वर्ड प्रॉब्लम्स ऑफ मल्टीप्लीकेशन एंड डिविजन सो वी विल सी द फर्स्ट श्यामस गार्डन Sama has planted sunflower, rose and marigold plants in her garden. So, Sama have planted three types of flowers in her garden. One is sunflower, two marigold and three rose. Okay. So, she have planted the flowers in different ways. We will see how Sama have planted and mostly you can see that there uh, there are 18 flowers of each type that is there are 18 sunflowers there are 18 roses and 18 marigolds but all the plants are arranged or planted in different way like in the first we will see each flower bed has a different arrangement all the arrangements of the flower plants are different see how the roses are planted these are the roses we will see how roses are planted you can see there are six rows rows first row second row third row fourth row fifth row and sixth rows that means there are six rows and in each row there are how many roses that we will find out see if we see the first row there are three roses 1 2 3 similarly if you will see the second row there are also three flowers or three roses similarly if you see the third row there are also three roses in this way in total there are six rows and in one row there are three flowers or three roses so in total six rows that means how many flowers three into six that is 18 flowers okay so for roses there are six rows in one row three roses so in six rows six three into six or six into three eighteen roses so in total there are eighteen roses similarly we will find out for marigold and sunflower see how marigold are arranged okay at first see the sunflower see how the sunflowers are arranged here the first one the sunflowers all are arranged in one row all the sunflowers are arranged in one row that means 18 equals to 1 into 18 because 18 sunflowers are arranged in one row so 1 into 18 that is 18 so there is one row with 18 plants for sunflower it will be one row with 18 plants now we will do for marigold okay now we will see for marigold in the marigold you can see there are two rows first row second row and so we will write 2 into and in each row how many marigolds are there nine so 18 equals to 2 into 9 so there are two rows with nine plants each for marigold there will be two rows with nine plants each okay i hope you have understood this one in this way you too can make your own garden draw a garden showing flower beds with 48 plants each row should have the same number of plants 
दिस इज अ क्वेश्चन फॉर यू यू हैव टू मेक योर ओन गार्डन सच दैट इन टोटल देयर विल बी फोर्टी एट प्लान एंड द नंबर ऑफ प्लांट्स इन ईच रो विल बी सेम सपोज यू आर मेकिंग ट्वेल्व रोज ट्वेल्व रोज ओके इफ यू विल मेक ट्वेल्व रोज देन हाउ मेनी फ्लावर्स और हाउ मेनी प्लांट्स विल बी इन ईच रो वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट दैट ओके टोटल दे आर आर फोर्टी एट प्लांट्स so what we will do we will divide 48 divide 12 what will be your answer four that means four plants will be in each row if you will make 12 rows in this way we will find out for another combination also okay so next in the second page 121 jars in the shelf there is a long shelf you can see in the picture in the shelf there are many jars let's see what it is written here vima made a shelf for 30 jars so in total there are how many jars 30 there are 30 jars in total this is a long shelf with two rows so number of rows are two there are two rows so without counting the jars we can easily find out how many jars will be in each row okay what we have to do we just have to divide 30 by 2 why we will divide 30 by 2 because in total there are 30 jars and number of rows are 2 so 30 divide 2 what will be an, our answer 15 that means if there are 30 jars and we have placed 30 jars in two rows number of jars in each row will be 15 okay Be now we can see can you think of other ways to keep to make a shelf to keep 30 jars you can make another combination also so that you can place 30 jars okay one combination i'm telling you suppose there are three rows then how many jars will be in each row 30 divide 3 that means 10 jars so this is also a combination for 30 jars for 30 jars if we will make three rows then in each row there will be 10 jars this is also a combination that we can make others combination you will think of your own easy tricks next portion we will do is easy tricks bunty is telling i don't know the multiplication table of 7 so guddu is telling i know the table still 5 but there is an easy trick i can make the table of 7 with the tables of 2 and 5 so using tables of 2 and 5 they can make table of 7 let's see how they can make in the next page you can see they have written the table of 2 that is 2 ones a 2 2 twos a 4 2 threes a 6 2 fours a 8 in this way they have make the table of 2 and also they have made the table of 5 5 ones are 5 5 twos are 10 5 threes are 15 5 fours are 20 in this way they have made the table of 2 and 5 by using the table of 2 and 5 they have done the table of 7 do you know how they have just add the table of 2 and table of 5 let's see how Two ones are two. Plus five ones are five. Two plus five seven. Seven ones are seven. In this way they got it. Two twos are four, and five twos are ten. Ten plus four fourteen. Seven twos are fourteen. 
Next, two threes are six. Five threes are fifteen. Fifteen plus six, twenty-one. And seven threes are twenty-one. In this way, by help, uh, taking the help of table of two and table of five, they have made the table of seven. Okay. Another thing, do you know why they are taking the table of two and five for making table of seven? Because two plus five is seven. So that's why they have to take table of two and five to make table of seven. In this way, by using table of four and three, you can also make table of seven because four plus three is seven. So by using table of four and three, you can also make table of seven. Here in the table, here you have to fill it by using table of four and three. Okay, next is how many cats? This is very much interesting and very and this is also very much important. Also, how many cats? Some of the Gayatri's cats were playing in a box. Gayatri have many cats. They are playing in a box. When she tried to count, all she could see were legs. Now, when Gayatri tried to count the legs of the cat, she can't see the body of the cat. She can only see the legs of the cat. So she have counted the legs. She counted twenty eight legs. In total, there were twenty eight legs. So if there were twenty eight legs, you have to find out how many cats were there in the box. Okay, we can do it in a very easy process. Also, what process we will see at first. Here uh, it is written eight legs means two cats. Eight legs means two cats because four legs. Four legs means how many cat? One. So eight legs means how many cats? Two. That means twelve legs means how many cats? That you have to find out. Okay, you how you can find out in a very easy process. I'm telling you, you can see there is a table. How many legs and how many cats? Four legs means one cat. Eight legs means two cat. Twelve legs means three cats. Okay, then will be sixteen legs means four cats. Then twenty legs means five cats. You can see the number of legs is in a table of four. Four ones are four. Four two is eight. Four three is twelve. Four four is sixteen. Four five is twenty. Why it is in a table of four? Because one cat have four legs. That's why it is in a table of four. So if you will find out twenty eight legs means how many cats? We can do it in a word problem process also. How four legs equals to one cat? So twenty-eight legs equals to twenty-eight divided by four. So twenty-eight divided by four, we can easily find out the answer. What will be our answer? Twenty-eight divided by four. Yes, seven. So that means seven cats was there. As there were twenty-eight legs, there were seven cats. We can easily find out this without making any box or any table. Okay. Next is. Twenty-eight legs means how many cats? We will write here seven. 
Okay, next. Billu has kept his chicken in his box. Now Billu has kept his chickens in a box. Chicken, you know, small chicks of a hen are called chickens. He counted twenty-eight legs. He also counted there was twenty-eight legs. So how many chickens were there? So at first you have to think. Chickens have how many legs? How many legs does a chicken have? Yes, two. So a chicken have two legs. So we will write here two legs equals to one chicken. So twenty-eight legs equals to how many chicken? It will be what we have to do twenty-eight. Divided by two, that means twelve. So there will be twelve chickens, right? Next, Lila has not gone to school for twenty-one days. So Lila has not gone to school for twenty-one days. For how many weeks she was away from school? That we have to find out. If she have not gone to school for twenty one days, for how many weeks she have not gone to school? Okay, as you know, one week means how many days? Yes, seven. So, seven days equals to one week. Now. Twenty one days means how many weeks? That we have to find out. So we will write twenty one days equals to twenty one divided by seven. So three. That means she have not gone to school for three weeks. So twenty one days means three weeks. So in this way you can do. Many word problems also, and in this chapter also we will do different types of word problems based on multiplication and division. For today, up to this next portion we will do in the next video. If you face any problem while doing the sums, or if any place where you will not understand, you will comment back in the comment section. I will make sure I will. help you out in your problems thank you